Well, rescue teams are continuing the search for survivors after the latest Russian strike in eastern Ukraine. At least three people have been confirmed dead after a rocket attack in the city of Krematorsk. Another 20 were wounded. Krematorsk is in the Donetsk region, where Russian-backed fighters have held significant territory since 2014. This is the center of the city. Only civilians live here, which is why any attempts to justify this are futile at the very least. Well, let's now speak to Natasha Butler. She's on the ground there in Kyiv for us. Uh, Natasha, another residential building hit now. Another residential building hit. An emergency service uh, workers have been at the scene throughout the night trying to see if they can find uh, any more survivors. Very difficult work. They're having to go through uh, the rubble of this apartment block, but other apartments were also damaged uh, close by. What we understand is at least uh, three people were killed and a number of other people were injured. But as I said, they do still hope, perhaps, that they can pull out uh, some people uh, from that rubble. Well, Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky, he talked about this latest attack in Kramatorsk in this uh, town in the east of the country. He said this is just the sort of thing the Ukrainians are having to deal with on a daily basis, these kind of attacks. He also talked about the fact that fighting is intensifying in the east of the country, particularly we know around those key, uh, that key city uh, of Bakhmut. We uh, are told that there are still uh, hundreds, maybe a couple thousand of civilians trapped in the city, including children, unable to get out because it's simply too dangerous uh, for the time being. Uh, Ukraine's defence minister has also uh, been uh, talking a bit earlier, and he said that he believes that Russian forces could be looking at trying to launch a new offensive, a new push in the coming weeks, particularly around the 24th of February. That would mark a year since Russia invaded Ukraine. And Natasha, I see the government is also very busy at the moment with a corruption crackdown as Ursula von der Leyen flies in. She is literally giving a press conference right next to Vladimir Zelensky as we speak. Yes, uh, Ursula von der Leyen, the head of the European Union Commission in Kyiv ahead of a key summit uh, on Friday with Ukraine. This EU-Ukraine summit coming at a time at which Ukraine wants to be part of the European Union. It wants to turn to the West. It says this is part of what it is fighting for, these sort of Western values for uh, democracy. Uh, the European Union, though, is likely to send the message that there is still a lot of work that needs to be done in order for Ukraine to reach the criteria to become a full EU member, but nevertheless, this is a show of support from the European Union uh, for uh, Ukraine. And what uh, Volodymyr Zelensky has launched in the past week or so is a huge anti-corruption sweep in the country. Uh, we saw last week a number of top government officials were resigned or had to step down in the last 24 hours. The homes and offices of tax officials, customs officials, a prominent Ukrainian billionaire, all searched and raided. This is part of Kyiv's efforts to show the European Union that it's trying to do things like clean up corruption, one of the conditions of joining the bloc. Very interesting. Natasha Butler there on the ground in the Ukrainian capital, Kiev, for us. Thanks so much, Natasha.